I've been playing around with the creative mode features and I think I'm now ready to go out in the field and test it out. forest oh, look how beautiful that looks need to put on some sunscreen it gets really hot out here especially around the neck ah oh, look at these pine trees active track the most useful create mode feature is active track. It will track any object detected in the center green zone from your mobile phone. With the extra weight of your mobile phone, you'll need to lower the tilt arm right down to the lowest position as possible in order to balance it correctly. Put my face into the center of the camera and hope that it tracks me. Okay, now it's tracking me. I hope it's tracking my face. That's the big question. I think it's lost me now, it hasn't. All right, here I go. Turning around, it looks good. I think it's tracking my face. We'll see. Track. It's more of a passive track in that you set the points and you control exactly how you want the action to take. You can select uh, many different points in which you want to have the camera added to a certain angle. To test out the track function I drew a triangle. Virtual joystick. Control the gimbal via your mobile phone. The up and down arrows control the tilt axis, left and right arrows control the pan axis, and to control the roll axis by moving the circle left and right on the horizontal line above. Force Mobile has the same settings as Virtual Joystick, except you need to enable Force Mobile and turn it on. The best settings for Force Mobile are when the smoothing setting is set to high, close to 100 in either of the axes as you will see. Okay, this is a high. See how it can, you can see how it keeps on moving after I've left my hand off the lever and I'll go down again. And you'll see this, that's a high smoothing mode. So that's the advantage. I'm using the Force Mobile is to get that unique uh, effect where it just keeps on moving after you actually stopped moving your hand on the lever. Okay. Check the smoothing settings. All right, it's a low smoothing setting at the moment. So when I release, when I stop, it stops automatically. Now I'm going to increase the smoothing number significantly all right so let's see what happens okay yes so there you go keeps on going and stops gradually oh 
How does that look? Panorama. The easiest way to do panorama is you just use your finger and you just choose, you just move your finger around and make the box as big as you like. Um, within the, the box you can see there's um, smaller boxes and the smaller boxes are the number of photos that will be taken. Maybe a, do a smaller panorama of just four photos. Before I end this video with the last create function time lapse, I'd like to go through what I think about the create functions on this gimbal. All of the create functions require the gimbal to be mounted on a tripod, which means it takes extra time to set up and just uh, much more gear to carry with carry around. So it's definitely a disadvantage compared to just using the gimbal handheld. That being said, it's still very handy to be able to use the gimbal in a different way where if I wanted to get a certain shot that I couldn't get handheld, I could use a tripod in, in certain situations. I found some of the, the functions not working as the way I would have liked. The Force Mobile, for example, sometimes for some reason it just wouldn't work when I needed it. I'd turn the app on and um, nothing will happen and I don't know the don't know why that is the case I don't know what was wrong with it but it was it tended to be unreliable another thing is the time lapse that you're about to see the intervals between the shots taken were not we started at two seconds ended up being longer than two seconds gradually to the end and um, again it's um, not as reliable as some um, taking the time lapse from the camera itself. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Time lapse. You click on here the plus and you make the first setting and then you just move around. Use the joystick and I'm going to make it roll a little bit. Under here it's got in. Um, interval Last, um, two seconds is fine all set press the button Thank you.